chest ups, lap flips, she drops her coat and scarf in the entryway and kicks off those vixen machines. I'm inside. She unties her hair and enters the hallway, past the childless bedroom with the empty crib, past the altar coated in wax, like a wedding cake, past the tiny packages of meat, dead flowers, and baby's breath. She enters the bathroom where she undresses and sits on the edge of the bath. For a moment, my thoughts drift to the hammer I'm holding. The handle is swinging the spoon. The forged steel head is heavy. And I feel powerful. She reaches for the faucet and I snap back to the moment. I move behind her. She doesn't hear. I swing the hammer. She doesn't see. I crack her skull. She's in the tub, face down. I am drowning her. And I paint the claw of the hammer into her spine over and over and over! Her body stops pretending to care and surrenders like it's supposed to. Just to be sure, I press hard, holding her head below the bloody water a few moments more. I lean to her. The water glistens like glass. Soft breath and talk, causing tiny quakes, and whisper. I have done to you what nature has done to me. She doesn't reply. I stand and turn off the light. The room is cold and empty, just like I am now.